Hey, PBS, I didn't see you there. You've, uh, you've actually caught me taking a little moment because it's, uh, it's 38 degrees outside and I'm just uh, having a look at our beautiful set. Come on, let me show you around. Hey, PBS, there you are again. You're stalking me. Here we are on the upper terrace of Hotel Portofino where many, many dramatic scenes have happened so far. I had one of my first scenes up here with Jack Turner talking about the Rubens painting and Renaissance art and I couldn't light his cigar. It was all very, very stressful. Anyway, I'm gonna show you around the garden. Come on. So we're coming down the steps to the breakfast terrace of Hotel Portofino, which is the hottest place on the entire set to film. But look at that view. It's incredible. That's what we have to look at, the Adriatic, when everybody else is on holiday and we're working and sweating like pigs. But it makes for very tense scenes, so it's all right. Come on, let me show you the garden. So I'm going to show you my favorite location at the villa, which is this lovely sea point. We're on this very gravelly path, which means we always have to re-record our dialogue when we're down here. Very annoying. Now, I can't show you this location without first introducing you to Statue Lady. She doesn't have a name, nobody knows who she is, but she, uh, she features more heavily than any other cast member in the show, and she does it entirely for free. It's quite remarkable. They don't have unions, statues. And so this is it, this is the viewpoint where lots of pivotal scenes have happened. I, um, I had a big scene with Danioni in season one here, which was the scene where he was goading me into anger with regard to my wife. We know how that ended, not happily. But look at this view, that's the, um, that's the city of, beautiful city of Rieko over there, um, which when you see the show is all CGI'd out and it looks like the Italian coastline. And then we just have this beautiful bay in the island of Ceres and Kirk. It's a stunning view. And you can imagine in our first season when it was still COVID and everybody was still in lockdown and we came out here like caged animals who thought we were never going to work again and then suddenly we were going on boat trips at the weekends and diving into that sea. It's incredible. But let me give you a closer look at the water. Come on, I'm going to show you the sea gate. Now I have an ulterior motive for bringing you down here. As you can see, it's in the shade and everybody's melting, so we're all a winner. This is the sea gate, which have, has played home to uh, lots of pivotal scenes in the first two seasons. But more importantly, this is where the camera crew come for their dip at lunchtime. Now actors are not allowed to have a swim at lunchtime because we're all in makeup and costume, but the crew are allowed to. So here we are on the side lawn of the hotel. If you see up there, that's Bella's balcony where me and Natasha do lots of scenes. And this in season two, you won't have seen it yet, but there's an exercise class scene. And luckily, the older cast members didn't have to do it. It was just the younger ones and they were doing all this kind of like calisthenic stuff and it was hilarious and they hated us because they were jealous. And I wanted to show you this location because it's the setting of one of my favorite scenes from season one, which was the big showdown in episode six between Cecil and Lucian, when Cecil's being a very, very bad father and forcing him into an unhappy marriage, which of course is the whole cycle of unhappiness that the Ainsworth family suffers from. It's what Bella and Cecil were subjected to as well. But it all took place here where you're standing. There was a lot of shouting involved, I remember. This will be in the Times next week. You do your duty. And I'm taking a look at our beautiful villa. Come on, let me show you inside. So I'm now going to take you to where all the big drama happens, the marital bedrooms. Now this is Cecil's bedroom, and unsurprisingly, it's the most depressing room in the house, I think. Look at this bed. It's tiny and looks so uncomfortable. It is actually really uncomfortable. There's just about room for me on it. And if you recall, there, there was this tiled boiler in season one where the big slap happened in episode five. And that's now been removed and replaced with this huge wooden wardrobe, presumably so they can forget. Um, let me show you Bella's room. Separate bedrooms, of course, in those days. And unsurprisingly, given that it's Bella, it's much nicer, bigger, and lighter. An area. But this is the pièce de résistance. So this is Bella's balcony. And where you are right now, that's where Natasha McElhone reclines very precariously on that ledge. 
Look at this beautiful view across the Adriatic. And down there, that's our breakfast terrace where we shoot all of our morning scenes. Hotel Portofino, season two.